So in this video, we're going to show you the top five handheld scan tools for Kia vehicles in 2024 and 2025. We'll show you the cheapest through to the most expensive and explain what kind of features and functions all of these tools will have. We'll put links to all of these kits in the description and in the pinned comment, just so it makes it a little bit easier for you to find them. You do need to be careful though, because fakes and clones do exist and they can damage your vehicle. So for that reason, please do follow the links and you will be taken to the genuine and official product. And at the end of the video, I'll show you which of these tools I would buy with my personal money for my personal care based on what I know about these tools, haven't had the opportunity to use them quite a lot recently. And I'll also show you a bonus tool at the end of the video, which is kind of like a high-end dealer tool, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So if by the end of the video, you're still unsure about which tool to go for, then I will put the email address in the description. Please send us your vehicle information and we can get back to you with regards to a recommendation for a tool which will be suitable for your needs and your requirements. So we're gonna start at this end of the table. Uh, this is the iCarsoft KR version 1.0. It actually covers Kia and Hyundai vehicles. Uh, but this is a, a really good tool. It's kind of like an entry level tool into diagnostics. And if you maybe got like a, a warning light on your dashboard or you just really want a kind of like a health check tool to make sure your Kia is going to be in, um, in good condition. Um, well, let's say you've got like an airbag light or a check engine light, an ABS traction control warning light, uh, transmission fault or a fault in any of the other systems like power steering, HVAC system, air conditioning, something like that. Well, this tool is going to allow you to diagnose the faults in all of the main systems in the vehicle, all right? Um, it does come with one what we call special or service function. We'll call it a service function for the, for the purpose of the video. Um, as we go up the list, up the table here, you'll generally find that the tools have more service functions as we go to the more advanced tools. But this has one service function and it is the ability to do the oil service resets, okay? So that's the KR version 1.0 tool. Next up is the iCarsoft JP version 2.0 tool. This tool was originally intended just for Japanese vehicles. However, they've loaded the iCars have come here, they've loaded the software for Kia and Hyundai into the JP so it actually covers Japanese and Korean vehicles but this is a step up from this tool here this will do everything that this tool will do so it'll do all of your main systems it'll do your oil service resets but it also has additional features things like DPF regeneration electronic park and brake electronic throttle calibration steering angle sensor calibration new battery registration injector coding and brake bleeding it's very important for me to point out though that it does these things not on all Kia vehicles so what we'd recommend is if you wanted to take advantage of one of those service functions then do send us an email using the email below send us the VIN number of your vehicle and we can certainly check that to make sure that the service function is going to work on your specific vehicle last thing we want is for you to get a tool and find out that it doesn't do what it says it will do um, it, it can happen it has happened before and that's why we ask you to check first all right so that's the JP version 2.0. We then move to the JP version 3.0 tool. Um, this tool does cost a little bit more than this. When I say it, it, it is just a little bit more, but the level of diagnostics and service functions in this is, is a real jump up, okay? It's, it's, you can see the tool is different to this one. It looks a little bit different. It's got different hardware, therefore we can put better software in it. Um, and because we can put better software in it, it opens the to tool up to a lot more uh, vehicles and a lot more systems and a lot more service functions. So uh, this tool can do everything that these tools can do. So all of your diagnostics, all of your service functions, but this tool is a bi-directional scan tool. So that means it al will allow you to do actuation tests, uh, um, component testing, it's bi-directional, so you can do suspension calibration, transmission adaptions, air conditioning resets, engine adaptions, and things like other adaptions and calibrations, things like headlight, headlights, seat matching, things like that. Um, so this is the JP version 3.0, and as I say, um, again, the same as this situation whereby it was originally for Japanese, but it's now opened up to Japanese and Korean vehicles, all right? So that's the JP version 3.0. We then move across to the iCarsoft CR Pro Kit. The CR Pro Kit has been a good seller for a number of years. It has, um, it, it, it has multi-manufacturer 
capabilities. So let's say you have got a Kia vehicle, but you've also got a BMW, an Audi, VW, Volvo, Ford, Porsche, Land Rover, something like that. Um, and you're maybe thinking about getting a tool that caters for all of your vehicles. Um, well, this is certainly a good option because it matches the service functionality of this tool here. So it'll do your DPF regenerations, electronic parking brakes, things like that. Uh, but obviously it does those functions for Kia and all manufacturers. So let's say you needed to do a DPF regeneration on your Kia and also your BMW, for example. Um, well, this tool could do that. But again, it's the same situation. We'd recommend sending us an email with the VIN numbers and we can check to make sure that those service functions are gonna be suitable for your vehicle, all right? Um, so we're sticking with the multi-manufacturer theme as we come to the final tool on the table. This is the iCarsoft CR Max. This is, without doubt, the best tool on the table. It does everything that all of these tools will do in one fast, intuitive, tablet-based kit. Um, so it's a tablet, so it'll do all of your diagnostics, it'll also do your emails, uh, web surfing, um, you can print reports, you can email reports, and you can you can download your apps on games or whatever whatever apps you need to. Um, this has the service functionality of the version 3.0. So what you're getting with this package is the absolute best service functionality, the absolute best manufacturer coverage, and the absolute best system coverage within those manufacturers. So it puts all of the best of everything into one package. It does cost more than all of these tools, that is granted, but it's not bank-breakingly expensive. Um, when we consider it against its competitors for Autel and X-Tool, it still comes in cheaper. Um, and that's one thing that I need to also mention with regards to the updates, because it's, these tools are cheaper to start with, all right? but updates, you get free lifetime updates for all of these tools. So the X-Tool, the Autel brands, they will charge you after the first year, and they'll charge you, depending on the tool, sometimes 100 to 150 pounds per year, just for the updates. So these tools will always give you free updates for life, and that's guaranteed, okay? Uh, I mentioned at the start of the video that I would give you my recommendation of which of these these tools that I would buy with my personal money for my personal Kia. Um, and there's two tools I would show you. It all really depends on your, your specific circumstances though. So uh, the first one, if, it, if I was looking for a tool just for my Kia vehicle, would absolutely be the JP version 3.0 tool. Um, it just packs so many features and functions into one tool um, which focuses on Kia vehicles. It does do, like I say, it does do other Japanese and Korean vehicles as well. Um, but if, if you're looking for kind of like a, a narrowed down dedicated tool for your Kia, then this packs in the best software, the best service functions in there as well, all right? So that's the first one. If you wanted to look after maybe your Kia and you had like a BMW, an Audi, VW, Land Rover, something like that, um, then the CR Max would definitely be the one to go for. Um, I can't stress enough how much of a, a good value for money, best bang for buck tool this is. And it does all of your actuation, test your component testing, calibration, adaptions, things like that. But again, it's best to check, just to double check, make sure that the service functions will work on your vehicle, all right? Um, I said also I'd show you a bonus tool. This is the iCarsoft CR Ultra Kit. This kit is probably the best tool on the market, um, top tier. So if money isn't an issue and you want the absolute best tool money can buy, then the CR Ultra is probably the one to go for. The reason I put this in here is because, you know, sometimes there are some people out there who just want the absolute best tool and money isn't an issue. So um, if you are lucky enough to fall into that category, then the CR Ultra is definitely the one for you. However, for most Kia enthusiasts and owners, what we see on the table here will most likely be more than sufficient for your needs. Um, as I say, I'll pop the email address in the description below if you haven't quite understood or you're still not sure about which of these tools to go for for your specific uh, vehicle or problem then by all means use that email send us an email with your vehicle information we'll check for you and we'll give you a recommendation and I will put links to all of these kits in the description below this video thanks very much for watching guys and I hope this helps